So at the moment, you're now kind of up to the main outline of what the card's going to look like. So we can start to kind of cad in some of the different regulations, such as the virtual cargo and the different real regulations, because those are the regulations that you do not want to mess up because you will get hammered for points. So to start off with, we're just going to look at the virtual cargo, which we're actually going to put behind the halo. And uh, this will overall decrease the frontal surface area, which will decrease the uh, drag force. But uh, to do this, we might actually need to move a halo slightly more forward. This is because we cannot have the halo intersecting with the virtual cargo at all because they will be different materials. Uh, what you can do though is intersect the virtual cargo with the CO2 gas chamber as these are two identical materials uh, that should be absolutely fine. The virtual cargo dimensions are in the F1 in schools technical regulations, so please do check them. I would just like to mention that I only checked the regulations once when making these cars, so everything else was off the top of my head. If I am wrong about a regulation, please let me know. I was not looking them. I was not looking at them at all during this uh, build. However, I pretty much know them off the top of my head, so uh, that's fine. Now, after making the virtual cargo, we can start to look at the wheel regulations. However, you start to notice that the virtual cargo actually intersects with these wheel regulations, meaning we need to once again move the halo forward. This isn't too much of a hassle, though. Just go back into the timeline, find the move tool, and then just uh, iterate the uh, movement. So now we're going to be modeling the wheel regulations. And once again, add those tolerances. 0.5 millimeters is enough. Um, that way, you can get really close to regulations and still know you have half a millimeter left for manufacturing inconsistencies. And after you've done this, you can actually set the appearance to these regulations to a glass. And this makes it a lot easier to work around the body as it doesn't take up your entire screen and you can still see the regulation when working with the car. And it's a cool tip that I learned through uh, my experience. So we've been working with Fusion long enough now to see that we have multiple bodies and to ensure that we're not getting them confused uh, with the same name, we're just going to clear up the uh, left-hand column that uh, shows all the different types of bodies and components in our design. Now, these are the regulations that I use throughout the tutorial. However, if you want to add more regulations, such as the CO2 chamber thickness or the track clearance, feel free to do so. This can help you. And then if you add more and more regulations, you can actually combine them into one body, which can uh, make it quite easy throughout the uh, entire designing process. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. It was a very short one. However, I am aware that the next tutorial, which is actually building the main body, is a long one. So do please prepare yourself for that one. And uh, I, I guess I will see you in the next tutorial.